Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to part three of the redesign series of Prospero. I did the research, did the wireframes. Today comes the turn on the UI, making things actually look good and pretty. This is probably not gonna be a one day process. I'm probably gonna put in a few days into it. I wanna make like nice icons and perhaps illustrations and whatnot. But today I wanna devote this day to actually exploring several options and, and kind of concepts. Also Gotham, the intern is also gonna uh, try his approach to it and so we're going to try different approaches pick the best one and then probably go on from there let's rock and roll <laughs> All right, so I just finished up the morning session and I wanna show you where I'm at. So I've started with the wireframes that I did yesterday. This is what the main thing that I had to kind of put new UI on. Um, but I also wanted to see that the new styles that I'm creating will also work on the dashboard and the editor that we have. So there will be like a coherent and, you know, a design language with kind of a design system to it. And so I, I went back to my inspiration. And as I told you when I was collecting this, I think that the square space is the one that I really liked best. Um, they also have kind of a gray tones like we have, even though they're only using uh, one color and I wanted to keep the, the red that we're using. Um, but what I think I really like about them is that it's the, the whole UI sends a really, really professional feel and kind of a message to the tool. And I wanted to use that. I want to change that a bit. I don't want Prospero to be like 100% uh, professional, like only professional. I want it to be like... 50% professional, 50% fun. And so today I didn't get to that because I think we'll add the fun with like uh, maybe nice icons or a little bit of illustrations, which I didn't get to today. But I just wanted to get started in by creating this uh, professional feel by using the neat typography and the clean colors. So here's what I did. Uh, I started out just uh, by collecting the color pattern, uh, color palette, and I changed our color a little bit. And then um, I took some of the screen, like the main screen, and tried to create um, how they would look like you know, with this new uh, design language, how the interface would look like. This one is for the workload estimation. Um, I didn't do all of them. I just wanted to see if this works. And I actually, I kind of liked this. Um, I thought it was really clean without a header. Um, remember, our uh, wizard, proposal creation wizard, has kind of two ways people interact with it. First, as a first user experience, right after people um, sign up to it. And the other time is, after they already created, they're in the dashboard and they're creating the new one, they'll see it again. And so there's a little bit of different views because when you're creating it for the second time, um, you can already cancel and go back home. Whereas for the first time that you're doing this, you can't cancel, you have to get through the whole process. And so um, this one is for the first user experience, there is no back button. So after I did those three screens, I started to play around a little bit. So I wanted to see how this would look like with a, um, with a white header to it, um, how this would look like on a, with a kind of a dark header, which is what we have right now. But when I'm seeing this here, now I see that the dark uh, header like we have right now actually grabs a lot of attention. Um, and then I tried to do maybe upside down, like a dark background with a light header, but that also is like the, the black. Now I really see that it's hard on your eyes. It makes, it takes a lot of attention. Um, tried with a white background. Um, I thought, let's try it without the box. Let's see if the text is right here. But I feel like it's kind of lost and I, I feel like the box gives it um, more structure. So I tried different layouts for this. Um, then I said maybe we'll do a left align instead of center align. Um, and I uh, wanted to try it also with different fonts, um, bold fonts. And this one is with Futura. And this one is with Proxima Nova. But I've actually ended up uh, wanted to stay with the font that we have right now, which is Sharp Suns. Um, and then I realized that we're going to have to have the header, as I told you before, for um, for the second and third uses. And so this one is how it will actually see um, after you've already used the product. It's not your first. So you can cancel here or you can go back home. You can have the indication that your progress is being saved. 
So after I did this just to see if I like this, uh, this approach, um, I wanted to see how this would look like on other pages. Um, so on the dashboard, this is what we have right now. Um, this is how it would look like with the new with the new UI. So it's just basically different colors, different typography. The icons are um, with a little a little bit of different hierarchies, but most like structure wise, it it stays the same. Um, same for the editor. So this is what we have right now, um, and this will be the new one. I really felt like what we have right now with those big titles is really a bit too much and really actually unnecessary. So I feel like this is much, much cleaner. So overall, there's still tons of to do. I uh, have to redo the icons, have to do all the tiny uh, interactions, like when you hover, when you edit the text and all proposals, there is pop-ups. There is a lot more uh, elements that should be done. And as I've told you, it's gonna be like a few days process. But this was just to give like some tries to see how the color scheme would work best, what type of buttons would work best. Um, and I like where I'm head, uh, where I'm heading with this. I still, I'm pretty excited to see where, uh, what Gotham is gonna bring because I think he's gonna bring a different approach, totally different from mine. And I'm very excited to see it. Perhaps he'll do something that I like even more because I'm a little bit stuck in my own ways. So it's, it'll be great uh, to actually work with another designer and see another perspective. Um, so yeah, I feel like we're making progress. I feel like this is already looking better and this, um, yeah, it's actually pretty exciting. So this is all for today because I'm heading out for some meetings and so this was kind of like my morning deep work session and I feel like I've made a lot of progress. Um, I'll keep doing that tomorrow and probably uh, on Thursday I'll try to do the what I was talking about bringing in the fun and the delight sense into it with fun icons, perhaps illustrations. Um, things which I'm not super good at, but this will be a good chance to try a new approach and try to kind of push my boundaries as a designer. All right, hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow. More sound.